For this video, I'd like to focus on different exponent properties, specifically multiplying and dividing different powers of our bases, essentially. So we have this example problem, 2 to the third times 2 squared. And the simple pattern is that when they have the same base, you add the exponents. So you get 2 to the fifth. But in general, it's not always a great idea to memorize things like that in math. And I would argue that it's much better to understand it from basic principles. Because the further you go in math, the harder it is to memorize things. Because there's just so many things to learn in math. But if you understand things, you just don't have to remember that much stuff. And so if you ever forget this rule, you can just think about what each of these things mean individually. So what does it mean to raise 2 to the third power? Well, 2 to the third power would just be 2 multiplied by itself three times. 2 to the second power is just 2 times 2. So you can see you have five of these 2s multiplied together, which we can rewrite as 2 to the fifth. So this rule where we're adding them simply comes from understanding it from these basic principles. Just understanding what it means to raise something to an exponent. And so if you had something like 2 to the 11th times 2 to the 7th, we know that we have 11 2s multiplied together here, and we have 7 2s multiplied together here, so in total we would have 18 2s multiplied together. Okay, let's try some different examples. So here we have 5 to the 4th times 5 to the negative 2 power. So the pattern actually still would work here, even though we have a negative um, exponent. But it would just be 5 to the 4th plus negative 2, or 5 squared. But again, we don't want to just memorize that if they have the same base, you add the exponents. You want to understand it. So what does it mean to have a negative exponent? And essentially, 5 to the minus 2, it would just be 1 over 5 squared. I also do have a video that explains in greater depth why this is the case. But if you want to understand it, the way I think about this is that when it's a positive exponent, it's repeated multiplication. When it's a negative exponent, it's repeated division. So it's like we're dividing by 5 twice. So we could rewrite this as 5 to the 4th divided by 5 squared. And when you're using division here, you subtract the exponents. And so that's how you get 5 squared. You do 4 minus 2. But again, you want to understand why that's true. So 5 to the 4th is just 4 fives multiplied together, and 5 squared is just 2 fives multiplied together, and we know that 5 divided by 5 is just 1. So these cancel out, and these cancel out, and you're just left with two of them. So let's go through several example problems that you'll find on the exercises. And for this first one, we want to rewrite this as 9 to some power. So we have 9 to the minus 3 times 9 to the 12th, and we know that if they have the same base and we're multiplying, we'll just add the exponents. So minus 3 plus 12 would be 9, or you would have 9 to the 9th. And if you want to understand it from basic principles, this 9 to the minus 3 would just be 1 over 9 cubed. You're just dividing by 9 3 times. So this would be 9 to the 12th divided by 9 to the 3rd. Or in the numerator, you would have 12 of these multiplied together. And in the denominator, you would have three of them multiplied together. So three from the top and the bottom would cancel each other out. And if you counted them up, you would have nine left up top. So nine to the ninth would be your final answer. And moving on, this one is pretty similar. So you have four to the 11th times four to the minus eight. But we know that 4 to the minus 8 is just divide by 4 8 times, or 1 over 4 to the 8th. And so we could rewrite this as 4 to the 11th over 4 to the 8th. So you'd have 11 4s up top multiplied together, you'd have 8 down below multiplied together, and 8 of them are going to cancel out. And so you end up with 4 to the 3rd. 
You know, but if we add the exponents, like we know from our general rule, 11 plus negative 8 would be positive 3. So let's keep going on these just so that you get the main idea. This one's a little bit trickier, but we could think about it from the general rule first. When you are dividing, you subtract the exponent. So we have 9 to the minus 3 minus 12 or 9 to the minus 15. But we could also think about it from basic principles because we know 9 to the minus 3 means to divide by 9 three times. So essentially, it would end up in the denominator. You just have a 1 left up top. We have 9 to the 12th times 9 to the 3rd. You just have three more 9s that you're dividing by. And we could add the exponents here because they have the same base. You have 12 9s multiplied together, and you have three 9s. And so in total, you have 15 9s multiplied together. And if it's positive in the denominator, you can rewrite it as negative in the numerator essentially. So that's how you get your 9 to the minus 15. But remember, when you have 9 to the negative 15, it just means divide by 9 15 times. Okay, moving on to the next one. We have y to the minus 4 times y cubed. So I'll rewrite that in the denominator. You have y cubed divided by y to the minus, I'm sorry, the positive 4, because now it's in the denominator. We are we are dividing by y four times in that denominator. And let me just write these out so that it's simpler. So y cubed is just three y's multiplied together. y to the fourth is four y's multiplied together. And three of these are going to cancel. And so you're left with one in the denominator. So we are essentially dividing by y once, which could be rewritten as y to the minus one. But you would see that if you just added the exponents because they are multiplied and they have the same base. So minus four plus three would give you negative one for the exponent. And let's just do one final question here. So z to the seventh over z to the minus 14. So if you have an exponent that's negative in the denominator, you can rewrite this as a positive exponent in the numerator. So with that idea, you have z to the 7th over z to the minus 14. This minus 14 we could put up in the numerator and make it positive. And then we have 7 z's multiplied together, and those are multiplied by 14 z's. So in total, you would have 21 z's multiplied together.